from Design Hill, uh, and I manage communities for Design Hill, and I'm your host for the day. Uh, this, uh, I hope you family and yourself are keeping well and safe. Happy to have you all here in this session, which is exclusively arranged for you all to know and understand Design Hill's newest ventures, Design Hill Studio and Design Hill Studio challenges. Now that you have all registered for this event, you must know that Design Hill has been instrumental in bringing a whole lot of opportunities uh, for its global design community. If you have attended any of our previous events as well, you would know that uh, we have launched a DIY design tool called Design Hill Studio that enables design enthusiasts like yourself to unleash your creativity to the fullest. Uh, and in order to foster that further, we have brought a series of coolest design challenges for you all. We'll get to know more about it in some time, uh, so please stay tuned uh, to, till the end. Today's event is brought to you by Design Hill. You all know it's the world's cre creative, uh, leading creative marketplace that caters to the creative needs of businesses and individuals alike who can source high quality designs from professional designers. Through its print on demand marketplace called Print Shop by Design Hill, you can also buy 50 plus unique products with thousands of artworks created by a world class community of independent artists. We also have Kevin Bakshi with us. Kevin uh, is my colleague and art and design director at Design Hill, who has worked with various uh, big brands during his career journey. He's a filmmaker, digital marketeer, and a branding expert with 10 years of experience in producing, writing, directing, and packaging for various organizations across the globe. Kevin and I are going to take you through each and every step of Design Hill Studio challenges and answer all your queries. So guys, please feel free to drop any questions that you may have during the session. Uh, Kevin, please say hi to the audiences. You are on mute, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, hi, guys. I'm super excited to have you all, all of you here. And uh, we, I'm super pumped to go through with the journey of a studio. And it's a very easy tool. And I will show you guys during the process how easy it is for you to get your design done and earn some quick money. Sure. Thank you so much for taking out the time. Uh, Kevin, we all know you are the busiest person, that, person at Design Hill. So thank you so much for taking out time and being here with us today. Uh, before we jump to, uh, before we uh, start the session, I want to repeat again, guys. This is uh, a session which we want to be very collaborative. So please, question tab is all yours. Please do write uh, all your questions in there, and we will try to cover maximum questions uh, 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 during the session. So uh, please feel free. Uh, uh, but before we do that, let's quickly look at what Design Hill Studio is all about. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so so I'm going to quickly share this uh, uh, presentation with you all. Uh, so that you know it becomes easier for everyone to understand. I'm gonna quickly uh, cover a few concepts that you guys must know uh, when if you are uh, you know if you want to participate in Design Hill challenges. So here goes. Uh, I'm going to quick quickly introduce and explain uh, each and everything. So guys, uh, like like I said that you know Design Hill has been instrumental in giving designers the opportunity to to explore their creative uh, best. Uh, so uh, uh, to be to constantly learn and to hone your skill set and to enable you all to be an exceptional designer, uh, uh, Designer Studio is one such enabler where you indulge in designing the finest templates, uh, business collaterals, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, almost everything that you can think of. Uh, so in design, Designer Studio actually enables you to do that and. When you design at Designer Studio, you enable uh, everyone across the globe to use that Designer Studio and your designs uh, to to for their creative requirements. Be it a business, be it be it an agency, or be it anyone. I mean, you know, it has everything from cards and invitation to business presentation to food menu, uh, almost everything that you can think of. You can uh, uh, and. So you will be responsible for making lives easy for the people across the globe who have any sort of creative or design needs. And guess what? You can also win thousands of dollars for doing so. And I'll tell you how. So like I said, um, one second. 
yeah so designer studio again it empowers everyone business marketers and professionals to create compelling visuals like a pro it is a quick fix for designers and an ultimate graphic design tool for non designers um now what is the de designer studio challenges so it is a series of challenges guys where you come and participate uh, a challenge runs for over a month and there is a spree of const continuous challenges that we keep throwing at you uh, uh over a period of time you participate in there you uh, uh, uh make designs uh you explore yourself on designer studio you share it on your social circles and then you uh, ask everyone in your circle to vote for you and if you get the maximum votes as well as if the designs are approved by kevin and team the design the, the design team at design hill uh, you win it is as simple as that but there is a, there is there are a couple of steps in between which i want to show you once again um so guys the entire challenge that we are uh, we are introducing is is actually distributed in mega challenges and themes so mega since since there is a lot of uh, uh, scope in uh, in terms of how deep we can go uh, with the topics we have we have divided the entire uh, the, the broader topics into mega challenges and and uh, we have um and given you small theme challenges under each mega challenge so if you go on studio challenge page there are three mega challenges which are already open now uh, Yeah, I think she just lost her connection, and I think she will just right back. Oops. Yeah, she's. I'm back. sorry. I'm sorry. I I I lost the connection. I'm really sorry. So I was um, telling you that the entire challenge thing is divided into mega challenges and thub sub things. If you see my screen right now, uh, three of the mega challenges are already live on the challenge page, which is uh, cards and invitation, quotes creator, and let's get salesy. in each of these so if if i get, go to the next screen let's get salesy challenge which is the main challenge is divided into sub themes like new year design challenge boxing day challenge and so on and so forth so you uh, pick pick any of the challenge of your choice and you can uh, participate in uh, any of the challenges or all of the challenges so so feel free there is no restriction as such you simply have to choose any challenge of your choice and simply pa start participating now comes uh, uh, kevin we will uh, will take us through uh, our tutorial video in in some time i just want to uh, cover the theoretical concepts here and want to tell you what you will get in each of the uh, you know theme challenges that we have thrown open to all of you uh, so uh, like like we said that you know each challenge will run over a period of one month and there will be uh, many many different theme challenges under each mega challenge uh, and the challenges are worth dollar 4000 every month so each theme challenge will have some cash prizes like in this one particular challenge uh, there is a cash reward worth uh, uh, One fifty dollars for the first prize winners, and uh, we have also uh, we will also be giving you social shout outs. Uh, there will be gift cards, print shop gift cards. So we have made sure that you know you get enough. You participate in uh, uh, the challenges, and you get enough of uh, uh, gift cards so that you know it motivates you to do better and more. Uh, now how to participate to qualify the uh, qualify for the contest you simply have to go uh, on designhill.com you have to uh, sign up if you have already signed up on designhill you have to simply log in and uh, my uh, teammate harshita will be giving you will be putting in the studio challenges link in the chat box you can simply go there sign up and uh, create a design in studio for any of the categories listed above categories as in uh, the sub themes uh, listed above participate by choosing the challenge category and upload your design confirm your participation by posting your design on your instagram account and tag design hill studio use uh, using these hashtags that we have written here and all this information is there on the challenge page under each and every theme guys so so you just need to go to the challenge page uh, 
uh, read the information uh, there and simply participate participate there I think uh, so. I think I'll leave it to Kevin now. Uh, Kevin can uh, share his screen and take you through, take you step by step uh, um, as to how we can participate. Yeah. Kevin, over to you. You can you can share your screen and start uh, the tutorial. So first, once you land on the page, this is the, our landing page designed to do challenges. Here, all the information is there on what. Uh, like Anidhi was telling you how to participate, what is in it for you, everything is there, okay? So to start designing one, you get to select one of them. So for example, I am going to choose salesy. So once you go to the salesy part, you will see there are four subcategories. Small business, New Year, Boxing Day, and Christmas Day Challenge, okay? For example, I'm going to today, do a Christmas, so you can select this one, and you will land here. Okay, we have tried to make it very easy, so you can see there are many reference images that we think are cool designs for your inspiration. Okay, so now you can go to the participant number and hit it there. So if you already have a design account, you can just log in, or if you don't have, you need to sign up. Okay, so for me, I already have, and I just log in. So this is some of the personal information that you need to fill. Your like very basic first name, last name, email, website, and what your expertise and all those stuff. So in the social media profile, you need to put on any one of them. Either you have Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to put. Some people like to put the hands also. So it's your choice. Okay. Click I agree, the policy, and then hit next. So this is the main thing, okay? You need to choose at least one category, and then you can start designing, okay? For today, so there are so many of the categories. You can see poster, brochure, Instagram post, Facebook post, coupon, Facebook cover, and it goes on. So for today, let's say we're going to design our Instagram post, so we can hit Instagram post. And we will click upload design. So we haven't designed yet. So we have to hit no, we haven't designed yet. And over here, we have designed a video. It's a tutorial, like whatever I'm talking about right now is we have also created a video so they can go back and check how to do a design studio, with, uh, design a, you know, your Instagram post over studio. So now we'll hit create a design on studio. And boom, I'm inside studio. So you can see that everything is pre-filled. You don't have to do anything. You can just start designing from here itself. So yeah, on the left-hand side, you can see we have already created a lot of designs for you. So let's start designing, okay? We are designing our Christmas post today. So let's see what we can do over here. First, I like always like to change the color of the background. So I'm going to take something um, like light color maybe, yeah. Then by hitting the text button, I can pull up text. So I'm adding a heading. So what I can say is I can just like S, I can increase the size from, I just simply dragging it or we can always go back to our font. Picker, yeah, very simple. By selecting it, you can change the font. So, I really, really like this font called Poppins. So, boom, it's here. Okay, so we have Poppins light, regular, bold, and dark. So, let's say we go with today, medium. Okay. So I'm creating, uh, trying to create a, a design around winter cell. Okay. So my idea is to put, to write S A L E, but in place of A, we'll try to put a Christmas tree and see how it looks. Yeah. So you don't have to go anywhere. You can just go to the icon and just start type searching. 
Hit search. There are tons of options. Now you can just go through and select which one you think is right for you. I'm trying to find a tree where there is a star on the top. Yeah, it looks like A. And boom, it's here. I can reduce the size by simply dragging and clicking. Yeah. So I want my star to be a little bit above the S. Yeah, now I want to change the color of the S. So I can just select S, go to the color, and I want to give it something uh, of red. Like Christmas is all about red and green. Yeah. So something like this. It's really subtle. So once you pick a color, you can see it's already coming here. So you don't have to pick it again and again. So what I like to do in Power Studio is basically I don't want to take text again and again. I like to copy it. So I just hit copy and it's here. Again, copy. Yeah. Now I would like to change the color of the tree. So I will go something related to this color. So I first pick this color and go a little darker. Yeah, something like this. Now I can just, I want to select everything and bring it a little bit to the center and align it. So this is going too far. So let's bring it to close up. So we have a base structure of sail. Okay. So I need to add winter somewhere. Okay. So let's go to our text. Add a heading. Winter. So whenever you choose the font for you know when you do font pairing, the basic thing you have to understand that you know it should always lead to this font, like your mother font. So you so we chose Poppins. Okay. So we'll go back and And we'll try to choose a bolder font. Okay, Wait. boom. Yeah, now we need to change the color. So let's just. So some like red again. So I just need to. I what, what I need to do right now is I want to increase the distance between the letters. So it's very easy to do. You just need to go to the spacing, and you see there's a letter spacing there. So so what I'm trying to do, I I'm trying to bring the eye just above the star. So for, for example, now I need a line, like a straight line, you know. So what I can do, I can head back to either icons and so start a chain line. And there will be chances and opportunities for you to download, upload also. So you see there is no lines, I can only see graph. So we can go to so the 
sampai tunggu di konsel w search line and yeah there's plenty of option so i want this one it's free so i just click and i want to upload the svg because i want to have the option to change the color later okay i'll just hit svg and go for free download boom it's there so let's go back to the studio go to upload upload an image it and just change I want to change the color again to something red and you will see what I'm trying to do over here it's so easy so we do we have a kind of a base part now we will start you know saying what is the offer okay so i want to say enjoy up to 50 percent off okay so i need some kind of a, like a banner over here so i will just first check our elements sorry icons and see if we have a banner so yeah let me check we can select anything. I'm just trying to find something specific. It's easier to get it uh, icons from here. So yeah, something like this. Let's see if we have anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's choose this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as you can see, it's also an SVG. You can also change the color. So I will just go very contrasty over here. And we'll pick the other variant of Christmas that is green. So we'll go like a bit dark green. Yeah, something like this. And we'll just copy this text, break it down, make it smaller, make this one a little bigger, and I'll change the type. So enjoy. Now I don't need that spacing anymore, so I will just reduce it. And we'll bring this color to something that we can see easily. The white. something it's still look very simple and plain so now we'll start decorating it a bit so we'll so snowflake will be good so let's search snow yeah cool bring it down Put one here. You can change the color again to something red. 
of it. Bring it here. Maybe reduce the size of it. Yeah. Now I need a cap. No, I need a bell. School. Put it on the top. I think I will go back and change this one later. So let's first let's design this one. Okay. You can stop here, but if you meet, we'll just keep going, and we'll do some like more snow. I put one here. And I can change the opacity also from here. So I just go a little lighter. And simply just pop it and put one on the other edge. So you can see like this shape the S shape, we can put a cap over it, maybe a Christmas cap. Let the others. Yeah. So I can just select move this star a little above and let me reduce it. Yeah. Bring it a little above. And I don't want to resize it, it's too much work, so I'll just duplicate it. Bring it here. Yeah. So you can keep going and keep designing. Just want to show you how easy it is to use the studio. And uh, so I think people are asking question. I can't see their question, guys. But I think I will just change it. Give me just two seconds. I don't like this banner. Let's see how we can play with this. I don't think you can go. No, you can't change it. So you can always go back to Platicon and try to find whatever you want. Yes, this is this was what I'm looking for. Simple. Again, SVG. We download yeah and we can just load it Ah, it's a PNG. No worries, we can fix it. Go green. Let's 
not working guys i just don't have time to change it into png and learn so we'll yeah found it perfect see looks better yeah so i will just turn it into green yeah and we'll just make the position this is the position you can send the layer back like a photoshop you know you can send it backward or forward i want to send it backward one more time i think i deleted the text yes this is the text i made this super white yeah and now i will just bring it forward yeah got it so it's pretty easy you can keep playing around and it's very easy to use you know we have made tons of videos and you can check out how to use it or not so once you're done you can simply you know hit the submit in challenge button you can just name your submission so mine is uh, winter sale it's already prefilled challenge is already prefilled i need to choose a theme so this is christmas so i need to add at least three keyword yeah so this is very simple i will just christmas yeah got it and at sale i can add winter and done amazing guys um, i hope you followed kevin uh, through each and every step kevin are we all done yes 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 right i hope you followed kevin uh, at each and every step and we have a whole lot of questions also uh, my teammate uh, harshita has posted a process video whatever kevin has explained to you it is there in at in a, in a youtube version uh, the link has been shared by uh, uh, harshita harshita if you can share it once again it will also be there in your email once the event gets over it will be there in your email after the session gets over and you can always go through it uh, the tutorial videos have also been uh, given there so so uh, guys feel free to explore yourself and we see a lot of questions but before we jump on to the questions i want to reflect on two very important aspects uh, a lot of people have asked why only studio uh, why do we have to only use a studio to make this design challenge i mean uh, in uh, to in this design challenge it's very obvious guys i mean you know uh, it's it's a new venture that we have gotten into and we have um, introduced design challenges for you guys to explore this design tool as much as possible participate using this design tool only uh, um also also it is only when you uh, use the design studio and upload uh, uh, designs from this studio that you the entries are eligible for the challenge otherwise we're going to find out any which ways that you know that the, the design has not been made on studio the reason why uh, um once uh, one one person also asked this question if we can use any other tool guys feel free to upload any of your uh, personal assets i mean if you have any uh, uh, personal design assets of yourself you can use them but once you upload it on the library uh, provided they are not copied from anywhere once but you once you upload it on studio it belongs to design library uh, the thing is that a you get to win the ch challenges you you know more you create on studio more are your chances to win the challenge um, as well as uh, there are a couple of programs that we may introduce in uh, future uh, to help you with uh, you know uh, 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 
so there are a couple of programs we can't talk about it right now but but uh, please use your personal design assets but once they are on studio they are uh, uh, designer studios uh, property uh, and please uh, explore yourself as much as possible so i wanted to make this clear so no adobe illustrator please no canva please only designer studio and there is enough on uh, 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 studio itself as kevin had explained to you already um, kevin let's let's look out for uh, some questions here um what happens to eligible entries that are not selected as winning designs you're a mute <laughs> so uh, there is a basic kind of a standard we believe that each uh, we expect everyone to follow okay so if you don't get selected for on the one design you can always try and we are going to organize a lot of lot of webinars like this for you to help and guide and we are also producing thousands of youtube videos thousand of tutorials for you guys so that each and every step is super simple and super easy so uh, all i want to say is like once before you start creating a design go to any platform like pinterest or instagram and search your inspiration search the people what people are doing search what our designs are right now on high don't start designing before researching it will help you to always get selected right so mohammad asked so it means we have to design for the challenges through design studio and have to use it as a design software am i right yes you are absolutely right you have to use the design studio only um what application to use it uh, harshita has already answered it design studio i uh, rational for using that software it's an important issue for me and others i think philip we have already covered this uh, in our answers one very important aspect though uh, of design hill studio challenges is that once once the once kevin and team approves the design it actually goes for the voting round and i want to actually share my screen and tell you what happens after that so once the process that kevin showed you is over um, and the, the design team and designer has approved your designs uh, it actually gets to one second i'll just uh, quickly share my screen and yeah so guys once once your um yeah once your designs are approved they show something like this so these are all approved designs under design hill uh, studio challenges uh this is under uh, of course birthday theme under cards and invitation so uh, this looks like this and you can share it in your social social circles and ask people to vote for it uh, they can vote you on a scale of 0 to 5 and i'm sure that they all are your friends and they're going to uh, uh, vote for you for sure um you can share it on all these platforms that are there and so on and so forth so this this is how so once you uh, you need to constantly keep checking uh, um no uh, the uh, your entries on your on the uh, on the entries page to know if they are approved or not also we have an entire email system in place once your design is approved or rejected or it needs some correction you know we have this entire um uh, uh email system in place you will get notification that your design has been approved or rejected and you need to work more on this um so guys uh, this is how the entire things work uh one more thing about the rewards that that you know our our team actually asked me to emphasize on is that you know this entire thing is uh, is is um sponsored by designer studio and the rewards are guaranteed so so you don't have to bother about this, uh, you know um your uh, amount the prize amount getting credited uh, we have an entire mechanism in place that will get and all the rules and regulations are there on the challenge page so please feel free to explore yourself and uh, leave the rest to us absolutely Let's let's get back to the question stab again, Kevin. How will we get link once live session will op is over? Okay, um, Harshita has already answered it. Can we use our softwares like Adobe softwares? So uh, I will I will just I will just answer this question. Yes, yes, you can use Illustrator. It's a great tool to create SVGs to create icons that you think will be very very special for your designs. But still, the structure need to be designed over the design studio only. Only where you can use uh, Illustrator and Photoshop is for your graphics, is for your icons, is for your illustration, and that's what we allow. And uh, for people who are uh, very familiar with SVG, those you have to make it a path SVG only with five color channel. Don't create anything more than five color. Right. 
Thank you, Kevin. What about logo designing? Should should the logo be created on the studio? We don't. We are not right now doing any logo designing over studio. So the challenge is basically for Instagram post and all those stuff like you know Twitter banner, Twitch banner, and other stuff. Logo is very specific to illustration, so we are not doing it over studio. Okay, we have to uh, 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 another question by Mohammed is we have to create the design in design studio with studio elements, or we can upload any created design here for the challenge. So you can, you can always create a SVG uh, or an image which is stock, uh, which are like stock free, and you know there's no liability on all. So till then, it's very you know you're okay to go. You can use thousands of free tools out there, and we have no problem with that. Right. So another question by Manusha is: Is it possible to submit a design created anywhere? I think we have covered it already. What happens to the submitted templates if they don't get selected has also been answered, right, Kevin? We have covered this, right? So the yeah, the template uh, it doesn't like we don't approve it and it doesn't go live. Apart from that, nothing happens to it. Yeah, nothing happens to that. Okay, we have a very. Uh, we have a question not related to the event, so we will not take it up. Can we add? Uh, so, uh, topmost questions by Zuzu is: Can we add those designs to our account? To our account, I'm not sure what you are asking, Zuzu. Are you, uh, Kevin? Could you get the question? So, I think you are asking about uh, putting them over your, you know, work profile over your Instagram page and PNS page. Of course, you can do it. We will be very thrilled. We will be very happy if you do it. It's absolutely free. You can download it and you can share it anywhere you want. Right. So another question by Anirudh is: uh, Is the winning of entry completely depends uh, upon the voting round? Of course not. Kevin, please answer that. So the winning does, but the approval it doesn't. Okay. So once the everything that is approved goes on voting, and it is a matter of your people's support and everyone's who wins. It's simply. I think you guys have also participated in print shop. It goes through voting only. Yeah. Right. So another question by Namrata is: If someone is not active on any social media, Namrata, please make your account. If you are interested in Design Hill Studio challenges, then you should make an account. I'm sure you have a lot of friends in your circle. Please make an make accounts on all possible social media platforms and keep start sharing your talent there so that you know your your chances to win the uh, challenge uh, maximize. Job roll. A lot of people want to know Kevin, uh, who is an art director, but I think it is not related uh, to the subject that we are discussing today. What happens yeah. to eligible entries that are not selected as winning designs? We have already answered it. So I will just uh, give you one more option over here. Okay, so once you, you think your design got rejected, and we'll give you a reason why it got rejected, you can always go back and rework on it. It doesn't get deleted. It is in your right. profile. You can go back and fix it. Right, so it doesn't go anywhere from the studio. If you have saved it, it will be there. If a design has been uh, rejected, you can uh, always go back, make some alterations, and then submit it again. Right, right, Kevin? Yes, absolutely, Kevin. Right. Do you, uh, Fiona asks? Fiona asks, do you have to have a large social media reach in order to win a challenge? Um, it's better if you have. Kevin, would you like to answer that? Absolutely not. You don't need a. Amazing social media platform, and uh, because all of us over Design Hill, if something is really, really good, and even if you have like one follower, you can be a winner. So don't worry about that. Absolutely. So it is a mix of both the voting and the quality of the design asset that you have produced on Design Hill Studio, right? So uh, we have uh, one more question by Anirudh Maheshwari. He says. From where does Kevin download the line he used in the design he created just now? So, so I, I will just share the link on the chat. It's a very cool site called Flaticon. Over here, you will see, you will find thousands of SVG images that you can use over your design anywhere. Okay, I will just share it. Done. Right, right. So, so one uh, very important announcement I want to make is that uh, my colleague Harshita is constantly sharing the WhatsApp link to the group that we have created for all you guys. You all can come there. Kevin can also be a part of that WhatsApp group, and you can always give your feedback. You can ask whatever you want to, and be you know a, a step closer to the design hill team. So, so we uh, can answer your queries. Also, at the same time, where you can give us feedback to improvise on things that we've already built. So, your feedback matters a lot to us, guys. So please join that WhatsApp uh, 
group uh, i would request harshita to uh, share the link again in the group uh, in the chat section so please please go ahead and uh, join the uh, group guys also uh, you um, our support id which is support at designhill.com is uh, is always reachable you can always write in there as well but but uh, to have you on the whatsapp group will be much easier and you know in terms of coordination and all okay if i uh, uh, abu mere has asked an important question kevin if i upload my design on my portfolio is it different from that of print shop so uh, i will print shop and studio is very different for print shop we don't have to design anything from the in the from the platform you can design it on your own on illustrator on photoshop but the studio is all about the template so it's it's very different from studio or from print shop so yeah you you like it won't work like if you upload the same things on the both the platform absolutely great uh guys i i would uh, we we received a whole lot of queries uh, during uh, you know in the registrants so uh, the registrants asked a lot of lot of questions i'm going to quickly recite a few questions uh, which which is you know the first question is how long will the challenge be for so each theme challenge will be on for around a month you can participate share it on your social media get maximum uh, votes and when the date of the winner announcement is always mentioned on the respective challenges please go check out read the challenge information thoroughly for for yourself to be able to understand the designer studio challenge uh, properly there going to be n number of themes there so you have to keep a track and we since we want you guys to participate as much as possible uh, the information you reading the information is very very important um what kind of challenges are given us uh, uh, sorry will i get a participation certificate uh, at the moment no but we can definitely think on those lines we have just started with the design and studio challenges and we can think of giving you the particip participation uh, uh, participation certificate but at the moment we can't commit to that but but let, let, you know we will discuss it internally within the team and uh, we will surely uh, you know bring our heads together on that and get back to you in case we propose to uh, give you the certificates we'll definitely let you know is there a registration or participating fee absolutely not it's free of course you just need to sign up on the design hill uh, and do it what is not acceptable in the design hill studio challenge i think kevin can um, throw more light on it i mean you know what are uh, the you know what we, we cannot uh, a participant cannot absolutely do on design hill studio challenge kevin so the first is the copyright issue you cannot put anything which is not yours it will get, it will get rejected the second one is if you upload an image that is not built on studio it will get rejected and that is the two main thing that you can absolutely not do otherwise other things are all design based you can you know something sometimes it will be good sometimes it won't be good but you know it does the thing is that this challenge is so easy to play and so easy to win it's it's just it's so easy that like i haven't seen anything like that ever and we are doing extra we are doing creating so much video so much tutorials and we created this amazing whatsapp group so there's nothing that's stopping you to win it except you know huge so move go to the studio and start creating challenges start creating your designs and there's someone asking me about the fonts i'm going to share other really really cool website which will help you to pair fonts and go right i also want to emphasize on the categories part of it kevin you mentioned it very nicely when you when you actually transition from the challenge page to the studio page categories uh, guys are the type of designs that you need to make in challenge like insta post poster flyer fb post poster uh, and you all know you all are, all are uh, all are designers you know the dimensions of each one of it are, it is different but when you enter into studio after selecting a category from the drop down you are automatically taken to that ideal size of a category so if you want to create an instagram story please transition from challenge page to uh, uh, the studio and uh, uh, right kevin uh, please tell me if i'm uh, you know skipping any kind of information there i just want to ensure that you know the right size the the dimensions are being taken care of i'm sure the designers will take care of it but but that transition is very important and if you go from studio pay uh, from challenge page to studio page you are automatically landing on that particular category that you have selected uh, while being on the uh, challenge page guys right kevin absolutely absolutely it's very easy you don't have to do anything you just land on the correct page and start, you can start designing from there itself also you can uh, to if you if you're kind of a beginner 
we have created a thousand of templates on your left hand side on the platform you can see so we can also play around with them it will help you to get a head start great great one one another uh, question was uh, which got asked the maximum number of times was can i participate in all things absolutely guys feel free like i said there is no restriction whatsoever you can participate in as many challenges as you want there is absolutely no restriction as long as the challenge is live uh, you can participate absolutely the voting starts from the day you start part so once you have uh, uploaded a design and it is it has been approved by the design team and design hill it goes for the voting round on that very day and it it is up for voting by your social in, uh, within your social circles uh, in that uh, that very day only so there is absolutely no restriction just feel free and explore yourself do we let me check if we have any more questions one second how many number of entries we can submit per challenge kevin uh, there is no limit actually there is no limit absolutely how many designs we can upload here no limit abdul no limit anirudh uh, and with that i guess we have um, covered almost all the questions guys the recording of this event will be in your uh, email box right after the session gets over please feel free to go through it and uh, please also join the whatsapp group very very important for us and for you uh, all who intend to participate in the design health challenges and tell your friends about it guys please do tell your friends about it and uh, bring a lot of people around and have fun guys this is for you all and uh, not to forget uh, you know the, the the prize money ranges from $4000 to up to $7000 in some cases where mega challenges has more than let's say 20 25 things there is no limit we are exploring ourselves we want you guys to explore as well so uh, kevin is there anything that i'm missing out on uh, uh, no i will just answer the two more question that came uh, one for maria Yes, Maria. You can upload different entries at different times. There is no time foundation. Only the challenge runs like for thirty days, so to upload everything in thirty days. And yes, Abdul, as print job, you can of course uh, vote for your other participants. You know whatever you like. It's a community we are building right now. So yeah, you can vote for your friends, for your uh, peers. Absolutely. And the questions can always keep coming in the WhatsApp uh, group that we have asked you to join, guys. So, so Kevin, I think we are good to go. Yeah. Uh, and and we we'll keep on arranging these sessions for you guys. Uh, so, so don't bother as to you know you uh, our support is there. We just want you to you know explore your creative best. Tell your friends about it. Uh, participate uh, together and make the most of it, guys. Um, with that, uh, Kevin, I think uh, let's let's wrap up for today. And yeah. Bye. Kevin. Thank you so much for being such a nice audience, Kevin. Any last thoughts? No, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being being here. And please follow Studio Instagram page. We are uploading IGTV videos every single day, and each yes. IGTV video will have a tutorial inbuilt. Right on the challenge page as well. We have uh, a lot of tutorial videos. Just go through the challenge page. Uh, you will find loads of tutorial videos, uh, and you will not feel left out at any point of time. So please go there and explore yourself, guys. Thank you so much for thank being you. here. Bye bye take care bye 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 bye, bye.